Actually, I might go always use... Well, let's not get into that. That's... Uh, oh, dear. That is going to do some damage. Well, it might not please survive. Oh, dear. That did a lot of damage. And it killed him. Nice. Okay, nice suicide there, Dusknar. Well hello everybody again and welcome back to another part of my Pokemon Platinum completely randomized Nuzlocke challenge. And uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed uh, the uh, time lapse slash speed up thingy at the beginning of this episode. Um, yeah I decided to, uh, to make that in kind of a time lapse speed up thingy because it's kind of interesting to watch me battle the trainers uh, and might be fun with some music over it so I thought let's do just that. And um, yeah I decided to... Um, uh, to, well, I didn't decide I really had to do. Uh, I picked Windows out of the PC, yes. Uh, we uh, we now have Windows, our beloved uh, operating system, um, uh, on the team back uh, here with us because we need uh, we need to use Rock Smash. And why is my button not working? I am pressing... That's the wrong button. I wanted to get my bike and I was pressing select like I was playing third gen. 
and that doesn't work. Um, but yeah, we need we need rock smash to get through here, and I'm yeah fucking up all over the place here. Um, yeah, if we want to progress through Victory Road, you need rock smash. I think you also need um, rock climb, waterfall, defog. Well, defog is kind of optional as always. Don't jump down, please. Uh, yeah, we got a max elixir right here. Um, so you need rock smash, uh, waterfall, defog, rock climb, all sorts of TMs, and surf of course um, to get through here and strength so almost everything um, so th that's why I I kind of hate this victory roads like Sinnoh's victory road is not one of my favorite victory roads um, but yeah let's see if we can sneak past you and uh, yeah that's just to get back I think we have to battle you so let's let's do just that we'll keep Toad in the front and uh, we'll continue on right here and I was kind of hoping that we could uh, finish up Victory Road in this episode, but I might split it up into... Uh, whoa, okay, that's a big uh, pig right there. Uh, ah, I don't want to... Let's go for a rolling kick. Let's just risk it for the biscuit. Okay, we just killed in one hit. Okay, we just killed it in one hit. Great, great. Um, yeah, let's see what's next. Mothim. Let's switch for, for that. Let's go to Jesus Bird and let's go for some nice flying action right, right here. Um... Yeah, we have to... We, Victory Road in, in Sinnoh is also very long, so it might not be able to fit in one episode. And also with that time lapse uh, before this part, I have to uh, kind of manage the time I have. So Rampardos is up next. Let's... Uh, what do we do here? Let's go back to... Huh, I don't want to go to Happy Feet and risk him having Earthquake. Let's go to Toad and let's go for another rolling kick. I think we, we should be fine here. We can kill him maybe in one hit. Yes, I'm I'm underestimating Toad here. Toad is, is a powerhouse. He can rolling kick everything to the face and, and kill everything in one hit. I shouldn't be so worried about him. Uh, but I want to keep him because he's a great team member. So um, I think we have to loop around here and use Rock Smash on this rock. And then push that other strength rock back up. Uh, but let me quickly pull up another repel first. Because otherwise the wild Pokemon are going to jump at me and kill me and do whatever. Uh, yeah, that was also one thing I had when I when I was walking back through Victory Road. Um, my repel wore off and I, I took one step or one... I was on my bike, so one space forward and immediately a wild encounter appeared. So that was not fun. I mean, it's how the wild encounters in this game are so annoying. So... Well, there's a lot of them. That's, that's basically the point here. Uh, but let's go for another rolling kick and just kill this... Just decimate that Clefable. Wow, that's... That's awesome, Toad. You're awesome. Okay, Torterra is up next. I don't have any ice moves, unfortunately. Uh, but I can go into Jesus Bird and go for some uh, fly right here. Some flying action. Yeah, that lead sheet isn't going to hurt me when I'm up in the air. And this leech isn't going to do... Well, if you're going to synthesis, that is. That, then it is going to be effective. Well, if I get a crit... Was that a crit or not? I'm I'm speeding up all over the place. I can't keep up. No. Um, yeah, that's that's something I do because I'm so impatient. And then when I have to... Uh, when I have to... Um, I'm forgetting a word. I'm missing a word here. I'm drawing blanks. This is going to be way too fast. When I have to commentate over a battle, that's the word I was looking for. Jesus, what am I doing here? I'm commentating, of course. Is That is the word you're forgetting. Well, that is just silly. Uh, let's just go for a rock climb to finish you off. Yeah, it... I don't even know what I was saying. Let's just forget all about that. I'm so... I'm all over the place today. Let's just keep it at that. Um, yeah, if we want to go back there we have to leave this room and come back but i believe this is another required trainer so let's go to let's go to mrs mime because i think this guy leads off with a no not pidget uh staraptor yes staraptor and um we're gonna try to thunderbolt that well it might have takedown and i don't know if i can take that so and i also don't want to put in Torterra. Well, let's just go for it. I mean, Mr. Mime is um, fast enough. Maybe we can outspeed and go for that clean one-hit KO Thunderbolt, and we should be fine. Yeah, I'm also five levels above it, so let's go for that Thunderbolt and just take it out in one hit. I'm worrying about nothing here. Licky Licky is up next, so let's just go into Toad and ride this train of destruction. Well, that didn't really 
destruct in one go but that doesn't matter because we can always heal up and yeah I'm going to heal up because I'm afraid that rolling kick might miss because it's 85% accuracy and yeah now he misses a slam so I'm all fine and dandy right here Toad is all fine and dandy right here he's doing all the hard work I'm just forgetting my words and apparently forgetting the most important word which is um, commentate um, right here that's what I'm doing Jesus how can I forget that word I'm, I'm still not over that that's so stupid um, but yeah if we go down here um, take it easy because you might fall off right there and then you have to do that room all over again so this guy I believe has a machamp if I'm not mistaken so let's just go to Jesus bird and do that nice fly action that we always do uh, against those pesky fighting types yeah, my champ level 48, so we have to watch out for that. Let's just go for that fly. Energy ball, I'm not even interested in that. Just Pidget doesn't even care. He just decimated you with fly. So let's keep on keeping on right here. This is the next room, the, the first basement floor, actually, I believe. Um, and uh, here we have to do some, uh, some surfing and waterfall action. Because it wasn't enough to need waterfall to get to the victory road. You also need waterfall in the victory road. I don't know why they did that, because ugh, it's so annoying, all those HM moves. I mean, it would have been really dickish to put in like one cut tree like <laughs> near the exit. That That's the only way to make this victory road more annoying, um, in my opinion. But let's just cut this uh, use stamp on and then we can move right along. I mean, that's so... Chimeco always use... well, let's not get into that. That's... Uh, oh dear. That is going to do some damage. Well, it might not please survive. Oh dear, that did a lot of damage. And it killed him. Nice. Okay, nice suicide there, Dusknor. Yeah, I was kind of worried when I saw the head smash. And then I thought, well, Dusknor doesn't have a lot of physical attack. So we might be fine. And we are fine. So it's nothing to worry about here. Uh, Absol is up next. Let's, uh, let's go to Toad and go for that rolling kick. Draw, drought, drought, whatever. Okay, that's amazing, uh, but now you're dead, so that's not so amazing. Um, and then we should be able to head up here to another waterfall, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, right here, and there's another trainer right there. Oh my god, so many trainers, I can't even. Um, so let's... I believe this guy has a Gabite, so I don't know what to do against that. Let's just... No, we don't want to use Happy Feet, because he might have a Ground-type move. Um, oh dear, what do we do? Let's go to Toad and then we'll we'll figure it out as we go. And then we're going to get that item. So let's just uh, take this guy out. Hopefully it's not that difficult. Yeah, right on actually. Okay, so he doesn't have uh, a Gabite. Or does he? I don't know. There might be... There is a guy in here that has a Gabite. I, somehow I remember that. Uh, but yeah, Toad just grew another level. Look at that amazing attack stat. Carnivine is up next. Um, we can, uh, we can. Well, I was gonna say we can stay in, but let's just switch to Jesus Bird. Let's not make it too difficult on ourselves. Yeah, Fly is a guaranteed kill, so we should be fine here. Um, and then we can pick up this item. What is it going to be? It's an Ultra Ball. Nice. We are not going to need that again because we're basically out of encounters. Um, but I believe if we go down here, there is one more section that is kind of optional. If you want to get another hard skill, okay, that's interesting. And there should be, if we leave this room, another item up the stairs. And that's the real prize here. Uh, but also this calcium is very useful. And I'm going to try to avoid this couple. Okay, very carefully now. Yeah, just don't mind that repel. Just get on the water, now we're safe. And now we can use another repel. Okay, that was kind of nerve-wracking. Yeah, I don't want to take on those trainers. Because it's a double battle and because I know that they have strong Pokemon. I don't remember what exactly, but they do have some strong Pokes or Mons, whatever. Um, and this should be a rare candy? Yes, it is. I remembered correctly. It's the real price of going down here. And wow, my nose is itching for crying out loud. Can I just please? Um, yeah, so back we go uh, down this strip of water and uh, avoid these guys again. And then we can head on to that waterfall. That's the way we need to go to progress. Um, just in case you're using this as a, as a guide to get through this um, victory road. 
is not that difficult when you know where to go and that rhymes so it has to be true um, but yeah that's really easy to say about everything if you know what to do it's not that difficult um, so if you go down here there's an, an extra little goodie for you to pick up it's going to be a TM TM 59 sleep powder okay that's not that bad actually uh, normally that would be Dragon Pulse or Dark Pulse, I don't know, I believe, I want to say Dragon Pulse, but I'm not quite sure, and now I'm forgetting, so I don't want to go on a limb here and say it's the this or that or the other. So, um, if you're playing this game and it's not randomized, you can, you can know that if you go there and pick it up, and just leave it in the comments, hey you poopy head, it was this or that, and then I'm, I'm going to be like, oh well yeah, of course it is going to be that. Um, but I'm rambling at this point, because I'm uh, just filling here. Um, uh, yeah, this is the Altaria, this is a Dragon Tamer by the way, so he's going to have a lot of Dragon types. And I don't have anything against Dragon types, so that's, that's fun. Um, let's go to Happy Feet, and I can be switched out apparently because this thing has Arena Trap, and that's not good because one flying type and we're done here. So let's go for that bite, hope for that flinch, yes. Okay, please. Okay, miss. Oh, Jesus. Whew, that was scary. Okay, one flying type move, and that would have been it for Toad here. Uh, so Gabite, yeah, this is the guy with the Gabite. Jesus, somehow I didn't remember that Altaria, but um, I did remember the Gabite. Um, yeah, let's just stay in here. We should be fine. Let's just go for some more bites. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. And that also does a lot of damage. Oh my god, Jesus. Ah. Whoa, damage. Okay, let's just switch out here because I'm not... Oh dear, no, Air Slash. Well, that might have been good actually because if we stayed in, we would have died to that. Oh dear, this is a scary, scary place. Let's just take you out with a frenzy plan because I don't want you here. Oh dear, oh my heart is pounding. I don't want anyone to die here because... We're so close to the final challenge to the Pokemon League and I really want this team uh, to take on the Pokemon League because it's a really balanced team and it's I, I think it's a really good team actually. A lot of um, a lot of strong members and uh, kind of uh, ha having each other's back. That's, uh, that's what they're doing. So I believe there's two... No, that's just to get back and we don't want that because we're all about progression right here. And then we should be almost done actually, there's, uh, yeah, this is the, these two trainers right here on the screen right now are the last two trainers, I believe. And then we should actually be almost there. So let's put Happy Feet up to the front and let's see what this guy's got. Uh, and then maybe we can kick his butt like all the other ones. And uh, finish this victory road in this episode. And that rhymed again also. Uh, okay, Porygon Z, that's interesting. Let's go for that leech. Oh dear, that, oh dear, that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, I don't know if I can take that because Porygon, okay. He does have a lot of special attack, but I, I was worried about nothing because... Well, it did a lot of damage, but I, I can still take it easily. Uh, that might have been because of the Sandstorm, my special defense buff. Yeah, right. Oh my god, that Sandstorm saved my ass. Wow, that's amazing. Um... Yeah, I think I want to go. I think I want to go into Sandwich, and uh, if he goes for another Thunderbolt, I can. Yeah, I can just absorb that because it doesn't do any damage, and I can maybe benefit uh, from the special defense boost, and then I can hopefully take him out with a Force Palm uh, if I'm lucky right here. Uh, so let's just go for that, and uh, oh, Signal Beam that also might do a lot of damage because it's super effective. Oh, Porygon Z is so scary because. Oh dear, it has a lot of special attack and a lot of coverage moves, so uh, it might pull something crazy out of his hat, and then your whole team is dead. And that rhymes, so it has to be true. Wow, a lot of things rhyme right here. I'm I'm nearly a rapper, like I'm a semi-pro at this point. I could easily write a great song about rhymes and that sort of things. Um, but Empoleon is up next, actually. Empoleon, wow, that is impressive that you have an Empoleon. Um, I... Ah, t Jesus. Oh, let's, g let's go to Toad. And let's hope that he doesn't have anything to kill me with. And then we can go for a nice rolling kick. Please, just take it out in one hit. Please. Yes. Oh, that's so great. Toad, you're so great. I'm actually shaking. And I'm so excited. Okay, come on. This is the, the final challenge right here. 
uh, Tangrowth. And I can't emphasize, emphasize that enough that this is the final challenge because after this we're nearly done with the game. There's only the, the League, the, the Elite Four standing in our way and of course the Champion. Um, and I want to make it through with hopefully this team or at least that not a lot of my team members die because this team got me through a lot in this playthrough uh, while well, Gary is, is new but the rest is uh, is been along for I think quite a while now and um, yeah some of them I don't wanna I really don't wanna lose so let's pick up this razor claw and then we should be almost done here let's put up another rebel because that shit is just annoying if we don't um, and then we can I think we have to head up here and then Oh right, this is the guy. Yeah, he, he is going to move uh, out of the way if we beat the Pokemon League. And that's going to reveal uh, another part of Victory Road to another route. If you want to do that, uh, it's kind of post-game stuff. Um, and it also has to do something with a... Um, I think with the Shaman event. If you go all the way to the end of that route. Then there's something to do with Oak's Ladder and everything. But that's not possible anymore. Because that's been long gone. Um, we have to s give someone the special defense thing. I want to give it to Toad. And then the special attack thing we'll give to... Let's give that to uh, Mr. Mime. Sure, whatever. And um, I think this is the last trainer right here. No, we don't actually need to be up here. We need to go down and around. Past the old man. Past a bunch of stones or rocks. What is up here? There's actually something up here. I almost forgot. I believe this is just an item up here um, that we can get. Um, it might actually be another rare candy, if I'm not mistaken. But that would be weird, two rare candies in one place. But yeah, this is the classic, classic puzzle right here. Uh, no, it's a TM, TM79 Pluck. Okay, that's uh, kind of weird, but interesting. Um, pluck is really an interesting move, because it can take the berries from the opposing Pokemon if they're holding any and uh, it can give them to your Pokemon if you're not holding an item or just use them instantly when you're uh, using that pluck move and uh, you can benefit from the effect of the berry but I don't remember what this guy has so let's just heal up our entire team and uh, be prepared for what he has to throw at us so get that Moomoo Milk healing going and then we can uh, step forward to one of the last trainers. I believe this is the last trainer. Um, yeah, I forget if you have to f battle Barry at the end of the Victory Road or at the beginning of the Pokemon League because it's different uh, in Diamond and Pearl. But I could be mistaken and that um, in Diamond and Pearl... Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh God. Oh Christ. Or was that the the one? Oh, okay, that was not Miracle. Damn it, I always... Damn it, my heart just skipped a beat for no reason. It was not fucking Miracle. Code. It was Magic Code or whatever. I always get those two mixed up. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Why do you do this to me, game? That is so scary. Okay, let's go for that. Oh, dear. That double kick does a lot of damage, and he is faster than me. Uh, that was not very... We should have just gone for a surf, I think. Please don't. Oh dear. Yeah, we can... Can we take one more? Oh, I don't want to risk it. I really don't. I really don't want to risk that. Um, let's go to Sandwich. And I know he has Air Slash, but we can take those. Um, yeah, we can take those if we, if we really want to. Um, what do we go for here? Let's go for an Earth Power. Yes. Okay. Mega Kick. That is also not a problem, kind of. And then another Earth Power should take it out. Okay, wow, okay. I'm so glad we we defeated that Gabite. That was really strong. And Swab Blue is up next. That's not really... That's not even a... F uh, I was going to say Flying type, but it is a Flying type. It's not a Dragon type, Jesus. Oh, I'm getting my words mixed up here. Yeah, just Thunderbolt and then it should be fine. But I really don't know about that uh, battle with Barry. I... I want to say in Platinum you have to battle him in the in the entrance of the Pokemon League and not at the end of the Victory Road but I'm <laughs> I'm really scared and I don't want 
to be I, I don't want to be unprepared here so I'm gonna make a quick cut and look this up because yeah <laughs> okay we should be fine here I'm back uh, I just looked it, uh, this up uh, we should be battling Barry in the Pokemon League so we can safely exit yes okay Jesus Pokemon League we made it this is the end of Victory Road and um, yeah while looking this up I also saw that you can get let me just see here uh, that's not it there should be where was it there should be a hidden sky plate somewhere or is that on on top of the waterfall I don't know actually so let's surf and go up this waterfall and check out the glorious magnificent um, Pokemon League uh, yeah that's uh, that's the only thing that we have to do in order to finish this game and there it is wow okay so where's that sky play that there should be is the other one the other side I didn't know about this but I just looked it up so is it not here was it near the thing did I not uh, did I not read it right whatever I don't care so we're here at the Pokemon League yes forget all about that sky plate I don't even need it so in the next episode we are going to prepare or maybe even start to take on the Pokemon League this is so very exciting and uh, yeah I'm going to show you the inside of this magnificent building and then this uh, this is going to be uh, wrapping up in a couple of episodes so uh, thank you I want to thank you very much for watching leave a like if you enjoy subscribe do all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.